One of the most feared clubs around the world, the jewel of the Premier League. Today, a team in shambles, a laughing stock, and a never ending meme. How on earth did Manchester United become so bloody depressing? Look, I'm not a Manchester United fan, and I never will be, luckily. But I can stop feeling a sense of bitterness in my mouth, seeing them in the internal downward spiral they live in today. If you look into the past, you will probably see Sir Alex Ferguson riding unicorns over rainbows and fluffy clouds, grabbing 13 Premier League titles and two Champions League titles in 20 years. A fucking fairy tale. But once the Scottish gaffer left, Old Trafford went from the theatre of dreams to the theatre of nightmares, non-stop. The club today looks like those tiny Scandinavian towns where the sun doesn't rise. It's shocking to witness how no matter who is in charge, the chances of failing are the only path on the horizon. David Moyes, Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralf Ragnick already know it. And the same goes for any player that pens a contract with them. They were able to snatch great players like Alexis Sanchez, Paul Pogba and Jadon Sancho, but all became rubbish once they crossed Old Trafford's gates. Let's not even talk about $100 million Harry Maguire. What a waste! The thing is that even those who started playing decently like Bruno Fernandes or Edison Cavani, sooner or later also suffered from the ailments of this now soulless club. I mean, not even Cristiano Ronaldo, despite all the last gasp goals, is immune to the train wreck and that tells a lot. But in the end, what I hate the most from this depressing Manchester United, it's not what we see on the field. The thing is that all this debacle coincided with the arrival of the Glazer family to the club a multi-millionaire conglomerate with no tradition in football or soccer whatsoever. And that destroyed the team, worrying more about margin profits than the team's legacy. And if a club with Manchester United's greatness is so exposed to these money grabbers, what can we hope for smaller teams? Depressing, huh?